Hey guys, Midget here, and welcome to another episode, well, my first episode of my FIFA 15 Derby career mode. Oh boy, how good it is to say that. I've been waiting for this game for so long. I've stopped playing FIFA 14 maybe three or four months until FIFA 15 and I had nothing to do. So I just sat on random games. But now it is here, and as promised, FIFA 15 uh, career mode in better quality. As you see, it's the Elgato now, because now I have bought an Elgato. And... It's live. Not all of the series is going to be live. Just the first episode, I thought, 20 minutes of just cut out, you know, highlights of the episode will be good. So, um, there is a few new features I want to show you in this game. So, here are three team sheets. JH did basically the same thing. I like the idea how he did it, so I think I'm going to do it like him. Not copying, just like, yeah. But, um, our first team... So basically, we've got Johnny Russell, Chris Martin, Jamie Ward, Craig Bryson, uh, Will Hughes and George Thorne as the midfielders and strikers. Uh, and Forsyth, Craig Forsyth, Jake Buxton, Richard Keogh and Cyrus Christie as our defenders and Lee Grant as our keeper. So that's our first team in a 4-3-3. Our um, second team is Leon Best and I'm not sure who McDonald uh, then in the second line midfield uh, this is 4-4-2 now so we have Jordan Ibe <laughs> Jeff Hendrick Johnny Eustace and Paul Coots and in the back line we have Lee Naylor, Zach Whitbread, Richard Keogh and Shotton I can't remember his first name oh god uh, but then in the goalie we have Kelly Roos so he's a really really a promising talent uh, so I went to the game against Reading FA Cup and he made an absolute amazing save when Christy back passed it and a guy from Reading got onto it and he kept us in the game in my opinion but here are our reserves McDonald and Best as the two strikers in a 4-1-2-1-2 uh, then the CAM or central attacking mid is Bunjaku the Albanian that is English on this game then in left mid we have Simon Dawkins at right mid we have Will Hughes that I need to change now in fact I will do that so we have uh can he play thingy? No, but he will. He will, and yes, so let's just leave it at that. And Omar Mascarell as the CDM. Not the most physical of players, but, you know, who cares. Uh, left back, we have Craig Forsyth. Then we have, um, what's his name again? Richard Richard Barker? No, it's not Richard Barker, it's Sean Barker. There we go. And Zach Whitbread and Connor Freeman, I believe it is Connor Freeman. Or, if I'm not, I'm terribly wrong, sorry, I apologise, but we have more, oh, I forgot his first name now, because I'm live on camera and this is very scary, but that's basically all our team sorted, three minutes into the video, so now all I have to show you is uh, transfer targets we want to get in this this transfer window, maybe not this transfer window, but overall my first transfer targets of the series are the whole duo, Andrew Roberts, oh god, I keep doing that because the new controls. Andrew Robertson, which I can't sign yet because he's recent life, recently arrived from Dundee United, but he looks like a really nice player. And the guy that went to my school, Harry Maguire, he actually went to my school, and if you don't believe me, I mean, there is a picture of um, him with our school. Not him in our school, like, you know, we're wearing the uniform or anything, but he's like came back to our school and he answered some questions and he took some photos. But nevertheless, he went to my school, so I'm, um, and also I think he's a very promising centre back, which I would want to get. Uh, British on Belong, I can't really say more. I know he's from Forest, but he is an absolute tank, and I think everybody would want to get him, you know, only 21 years of age, a very powerful guy, and very pacey, and a great finisher, so that's why I want to get him. I want to get Carl Darlow because obviously he plays for Newcastle now, but he's still on loan at Forest, uh, so I can't get him. But he's a very young keeper, and he's got the potential. He's 68 overall, I believe. <coughs> and he's 68 overall, and he's something new to instead of Jack Butland, so it's kind of cool. And obviously the Derby old boy, James Bailey, that they released, but I kind of like him. I think I'm going to re-sign him because I think he's a very good player, a very good squad, squad rotational player. So that's basically everyone I want to sign. Uh, or at least try to sign in this transfer window. Well, not all, as you can see, my wage budget isn't great. 4.48 million and 30 grand on the wage budget. So, the last thing I need to show you, oh god, no, yeah, sell player, this isn't last thing, but the players I have transferred listed is Sean Barker and Lee Naylor. 
both players I wouldn't be looking to get rid of, especially Sean Barker that gets us, you know, fifteen grand on the wages and also he's one point four million worth, so we can get an easily, you know, one point eight million for him I would say. Um but now definitely the last thing I'm gonna show you before I move on and, you know, cut is the league objective. So the board have reviewed our chances in the domestic court. We'd love a cup run, so we would be delighted if you could reach the round of 32, which is great. Um, some random stuff we don't thingy, but this is new. Uh, we we are looking for a striker, um, which is kind of cool. You know, t positions we need to change. So we need. I could bring in um, a Son Belonga, but I think I can't at the moment. But nevertheless, uh, yeah. So we need a striker. Um, but Sean. Scott Sean Buxton, Jesus Christ, sorry my dog. My name is Sean Buxton, I'm one of your scouts, so he's their scout. And basically, Dar the Derby board wants, to us, wants us to achieve automatic promotion, which is basically like real life. But, it's a bit, you know, like, unrealistic, I would say, you know what I mean? Like, we were going for this in real life, but I just don't think we, it's possible. Um, at least in this season and I'm playing on professional difficulty guys I will be switching to world class later on but at the moment I'm just getting used to the game I know everyone's playing world class and getting used to the game but I'm just not that type of person but nevertheless guys hopefully you enjoyed this first bit and now let's go into the second bit so yeah I'm just gonna advance and maybe put in a few offers so I'll see you guys later when something good pops up I will cut there and recut so yeah you get you get the point I'll see you guys later so yeah here we are going to buy sorry also we are going to buy the scat future star so I can get some scat future star hoping for a good player so yeah um, I'm gonna redeem it now so so as you can see the scout has been dispatched which is great and we're gonna get a scout future star in the next couple of weeks so uh, guys I can't wait for that alright guys we have had some transfer offers for Lee Naylor and Sean Barker which we are going to politely accept so Lee Naylor is off to Rotherham United for £50,000 and Middlesbrough won Barker for 1.1 but I'm gonna just say 1.4 because I see he's good and we have our final report on Rudy Gasteed. Um yes I'm looking into signing this guy he looks pretty decent um, as I said I need a striker but is he the guy I want I could easily recall Salmon because I do want to be longer. Do I need him? Because Leon Best is on yes. <laughs> just yes. So six, eight, seven. Just put one point seven, and hopefully that will get the job done. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We also have a friendly against Fiorentina, so I have put up my second team and see how they do. I'm expecting nothing but a loss. That team is nowhere near as good as Fiorentina's first team, which I'll get the put up. But yes, so I can say I think we will lose this game. Oh, McDonald's has scored us the first goal in the 23rd minute. Jesus Christ. So we were leading against Fiorentina. This could be a remarkable bloody achievement if we pull it off. But will we hold on? Derby never hold on. Exactly. Babacar has put the ball in from this penalty spot. And I guess it was Keo that fouled, but the game ends 1-1. So not the worst result to a preseason. I think that was actually a pretty good result. But I'm going to see you guys in. Oh no, Lee Naylor's gone. So we have a reviewed offer for Barker. 1.1. Um, they're not willing to move, which I will just nicely accept. See you later, Barker. I do not need you. Blackburn Rovers came back with an offer for. Rudy Gasteed, which we put in 1.7, they were 1.9, which I am happy giving to them, unless we have someone that could fulfill that £200,000. Nope. So 1.9 it is, and we're going to be looking like we're going to be getting Rudy Gasteed. And we have a game against Cordoba right now. Oh, yeah, uh, oops, same team, I didn't mean to do that. I'm fully expecting a loss here. The likes of Belfordil. No, they don't have uh, Belfordil, I mean. Gilas is good. Garcia scored. Oh, but Paul Cuts has as well. Coots, sorry, not Cuts. But they have scored with Fidel as well, which isn't good. We're going to lose this game. Uh, Whitbread is injured. We have lost 3 1 to Cordoba. Youthly squad, monthly report. Ooh, what is he? A centre back. 
Oh, another Dutch player like Van der Verf last year. I remember I had him on FIFA 14. I only got him, I think, in my third season, but he was a beast. And it looks like, unless that striker... No, that is a centre-back. So we have a centre-back that... Yeah, that's really good. That is absolutely amazing. If a centre-back comes through the ranks here, that means that we don't have to have Farry Maguire, although I'd want him. Blackburn Rovers accept the offer for Rudy Gasteed, so it looks like we're going to be getting Rudy. He's a very good player, the Benin Beninese, I think that's how you pronounce it, Beninese, man. I think he's amazing. There we go. Let's carry on and see what happens. Ten minutes in, no highlights. This is a pretty boring game. Oh, also, I thought 19 minutes in, Lowe scores us the first goal. Then Shane Long from a penalty. And Leon Best in the 45th minute. Shame you can't do that in real life. <laughs> Shots fired in the 57th minute when the armor scores. And then he scores another. No, he doesn't. But Will Hughes gets subbed on for Laura Martin. Misses a penalty. And Wani armor is off in the 85th minute. Can Darby get a winner? No. God's sake, Southampton, you, you good people. Damn it. We have signed Rudy Gasteed, guys. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we can accept, and we will accept, Rudy Steed. Welcome to Derby County. Hope your full your objectives get fulfilled here. And let me just change his number, because, in fact, let's see his number in real life. I'm not really sure on Rudy Steed. So, 30, 39. So, let's kit numbers. Is Rudy Steed a number 39? Where is he? Gasteed 39. Hopefully there is no 39, and I don't think there is, at least not in the first team squad. So, yes, Rudy is number 39, and welcome to the team, Rudy Gasteed. I think I am going to recall uh, O'Brien for only £44,000. It's not a lot, and I, it would be great if I could recall him, since I'm low on centre-backs now, as I did sell Barker. And he is a very promising lad, you know, just like Harry Maguire, 21 years of age, and 66. Imagine them in 10 years. Both of them having in, both of them in my team. Jesus Christ, that'd be sick. So let's recall him. We've recalled him, and great. Our first game against Shrewsbury, lads. Let's get straight into it. This is the team we're going to be using, guys. So let's get straight into it. Why does it say Molten Road at the top? I do not know. I changed the stadium name to the iPro Stadium, but obviously it doesn't show that. But nevertheless, let's get straight into it now. So yeah, guys, you can see the team at the bottom, and let's just get this game started. I can't wait. Omar Mascarell finds Rudy Gasteed making his debut for Derby County. Rudy Gasteed! Oh, Mascarell couldn't get to it and it's still 0 0 at home at the iPro. Forsyth. Ooh, that's a terrible talent challenge and it's a penalty! It's a penalty, guys, for Derby County in the ninth minute here at the iPro. Can the penalty taker put it away, which I think will be Rudy Gasteed? See, yes, he did clip the man. Yes, I think the guy clipped Forsyth, but do I think it was a penalty? No. But here we have the chance to make it 1-0, and Rudy Gasteed in particular will be absolute shitting bricks. So can he? Rudy Gasteed, can he put Derby County 1-0 up? Yes, he can! 1-0 to Derby County, guys. That is such a great start for the Rams. Let's carry on going like this. Just look at that penalty. The keeper went the right way, but Rudy Steed had a very tactical shot. He didn't go too far right, and he opens his scoring tally for the Rams, and what a signing this could be. We're open at the back. Vernon has the ball, but Keogh takes him, but it's a mistake, and Robinson is allowed to go and cross the ball in, and Eustace is not got there, and oh, what a let-off that is. Wow. How close that was. I think Kelly Roos had it covered, but that was close. And Kelly Roos, ooh. Man, 26 minutes, I, what a ball through to Castide. Oh, God. That was so close. But the keeper, what a save from the keeper. What a ball from Hendrick to Jordan Ibe. Jordan Ibe, the Liverpool man on loan. Can he finish something like this is the question. Jordan Ibe. Oh, is he the outside of the bar? What a run that was from Jordan Ibe. Use this in a model, but Mascarell gets it back. Pass it through to Rudy Steed. Rudy Steed! What a finish! Oh god, that 
is an absolute insane finish from Rudy Steed. I wow, I was not going for that, but what a finish that was. Look, if that is things to come from this man, I cannot believe how lucky we got him at 1.9 million. That is an absolute steal. Just look at it. Wow. The half time tats, everybody. Tats, stats. <laughs> We're winning 1 0. Lower in possession, I don't know how. Rudy Steed scored the two goals. What a signing he is proving to be, for God's sake. That was a lovely, lovely goal, the second one. And yeah, let's get straight into the second half. Look at this lovely play from Hendrick. He's found Leon Best. Best! He's made it free, Leon Best. What a lovely finish that was from Leon Best. 3 0 Derby County. Look at this, he turns his man inside out and hurls one into the bottom corner. The keeper could do nothing about it. And 3 0 Derby. Oh god! Roos, what a lovely save that was! Those are the full time stats, guys. Only one goal in the second half, coming four minutes from time. Lovely, lovely goal by Vesto. I think it was the second best goal in the game. Uh, Rudy Gasteed got man of the match, as you can see now. And I'm going to do ratings, guys, you know, like ratings like um, the Master Books does. I'm going to do sort of like that, but I'm going to do them for the start of the season, not pre-season. So, yeah, guys, basically, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys. I certainly did, you know, it's the first episode of FIFA 15, but I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, make sure to give this episode a like, and yeah, so this is Midget, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.